you're about to witness next level automation. I've got to say, you know, I see a lot of different technologies evolving, but this, I've got to say, is one of my favorites. This is exciting to buy us. That's really cool, yeah. yeah. Yeah, it really is. Tell everyone, show everyone what you've got here on the Grob stand. So here we have on our Grob booth of the Emo, we have a G550 turning machine. Um, equipped with a tool magazine, an additional one, um, a round pallet pool system, and the very cool feature, which is the AGV, the Autonomic Guided Vehicle, um, which you can see over here, which is really in, in a very big positive impact to combining lots of different solutions that our customer having in their production plan to combining work pieces tools and other stuff from one cell to the other. Right, before we get on to the logistics of this, it's moving around us, it's super cool. Um, what's happening in the industry that everyone is seeing and you've gone, we need this? Well, the, the purpose behind is really, previously you had a machine that was equipped with a, with a round pellet pool or a linear pool system. Um, and and you, you could keep your machine very much busy um, overnight and even over the weekend. But as the requirements is way more complex and be more flexible, um, combining different work pieces, you, you don't know what you have to machine in two, three years. You have to be way more flexible. And this is what the AGV brings in the end to your production hall. And there's also, there's a lack of skilled people. There's a lack yeah. of workers, yeah. isn't there? So there is this element of being able to have to kind of future-proof your business and your company. And what's really exciting, I've never seen anything like this before, this is technology for people now, but also this is technology for people of the future. Absolutely, you can start with this, even just loading and unloading this one machine with the pallet pool system, or you can even um, feed other stuff which you're running around in your production hall. You, you have um, um, equipment that you this have to cool. shift from one side to the other side or you have to shift tools, or even you have to unload your chip conveyor. What? Yeah, all of this can be done by this vehicle. Oh my gosh, right. Okay, so let's start. The first thing there, let's go for the parts, right? Yes. Tell me about how what happens with the parts, because you're talking about chip conveyors and tools. Get onto that in a moment. So. Okay, so we start with the parts. Yes. So if you have parts which you're running on this machine, right. and let's say as of today, everything is fine, you make your op 10, your op 20, and it works very well. But maybe in the future, you have to combine, for example, on this kind of, of work piece, also some grinding process or some gear hubbing process, mm -hmm. which maybe this machine is not yet equipped with. And to, to make sure that you anyhow can fulfill the full job that your customers require, this AGV picks up the almost milled finished parts and send them over to the grinding machine. Oh, wow. The, the, the thought and, the, and, and how it all comes together is amazing. Yeah. Let's go on to the chip conveyor then. Yeah. Everybody usually thinks about, mm -hmm. I have to make sure to keep the machine running overnight, over the weekend. Mm -hmm. So you're considering, do I have enough raw material in front? Do I have enough tools in front? But nobody really considering who is empty my chip conveyor. Yeah. So this is something this tool can also do. So in the night or also during the day, nobody has to think about, oh, is the chip conveyor full or not? That the machine says, I can't machine anymore because the chips are overloaded. So the vehicle comes, pick them up, brings them in the end of the hall and <laughs> empties it. I'm sure there's some engineers that will be very grateful of this. Yeah. And then let's talk about tools then. Yeah. Uh, how does it work on the tooling side? For sure, usually um, you have someone on site who is on duty to really fulfill and make sure they're preparing the tools, they bring them on the machine, they're loading the sister tools and so on. So all of this, as it is anyhow guided by our software, which is looking for what kind of program is running on the machine, so what kind of tools I need, we have twin or sister tools and so on. So all of this is already guided and, and the information is sent to the vehicle and make sure the vehicle can unload the worn tools, bring them back to the tool shop and it receives the new tools, load in the machine and the machine keeps going. This is technology, but well, I always said of the future and I'm sure you'll agree watching this, it's technology now, it's happening. Absolutely, as you can see, it yeah, travels it around while we are standing close to Actually, the- Actually, I've got a question. It travels around whilst we're standing here. It's working quite well with us. So what are the limitations here? Yeah, it, it, it has a certain control on the surface. So it can uh, visualize the surrounding of the tool itself. So means consequently, when they are doing this, even the, the, the regular operator, which are on duty, um, the, the, the vehicle realize them 
and it finds the way around the people. So it is a very good human interacting. And even further, furthermore, you can have a certain fleet of this kind of vehicles. So if you're adding, if you have a huge hall, just considering a hall like we are standing here at the IMU show, just drop a couple of those vehicles, they communicating to each other and they it's, it's like mapping, like, like everybody knows the Google car. So they, they're driving around and, and they're visualizing the surrounding and it gets in the end a, a card that is captured together. And so they're communicating, you can use this way to go to this pass in the end. Even if, if let's say, an, an human being would be all make mistakes. So if I drop something on the floor, where yeah. usually the vehicle comes and goes and it realizes I cannot go on this yeah. way because there's there's standing something between. It realizes on the map, oh, I can use another pass and I just go around. And it's not, we're not looking for the last seconds or minutes. It's, it's really to keep the logistic going. Yes. Nobody should think about, oh, have I emptied the chip conveyor? Did I fulfill and, and, and refill the tools? Or, oh, where are the raw materials? So all of this is ongoing by itself. This is exciting. You're thinking about the engineer, the machine shop as a whole. That's what it is. You're thinking about the machine shop as a whole and connecting everything together. Yeah. Um, connecting all together, easy, it links up, and you can see it all links together. Exactly. And, and even adding this, that's probably something you should talk to our colleague Emil afterwards. And we also have the software who guides all of this interaction to each other. And even more, we have artif artificial intelligence don't, implemented don't. In, in, in stuff about the tools, which is very cool. And you should talk about this with Emil. I'm going to do exactly that. It's so close, but you know, it, you feel comfortable. You can see it around you. You're aware of it. There's, you know what? I think we could probably do another 10 minutes on this one, but we can't. Easily, easily, easily. <laughs> easily. That's what you've got it in. Grob, you're there. You're at the forefront of technology. This is happening and this is exciting in the world of manufacturing. This is now.